Kai the Vault Dweller here coming to you back with another episode of Fallout 4. Let's get into this. I also tore down the fence because I wasn't really happy with it. I think it could look a lot better. I was thinking of maybe adding like some pallets and stuff up next to it. I'm going to do a couple of these guys. So now Kiro tab has some pallets. Distressed green wood. Who the hell would want gigam wood? Oh, I never, <laughs> never even thought of these. <laughs> Yeah, I guess say distressed is kind of what we'd want. Because let's face it, the wood would not be like a brown color in the wasteland. glitch this guy in. I just kind of want to put something here that would make sense in a way for the wasteland. Yeah, see here, this is what I'm talking about, pallets. Bad it wasn't like half pallets. I was just looking at this wall the other day and I'm like, cause sometimes I'll go through my settlement and I'll just check it out to see if I could add anything more to it. 
So we'll kind of do them where they're merged into each other just so it looks right. And I was like, it looks okay, but I think it could look better. And all half pallets do work. Or pallets do work because it kind of creates like a wall. And kind of gives it a more junky look and a little less all looking the same. So I think that looks pretty good. And the reason why I'm picking the greenish distressed wood. Why is that gray? Believe it or not, that would be the color of most wood. Be like gray and distressed. Like we could even do one. One palette that looks a little less distressed or a little less ugly. If we have that palette option here, which I don't think we do. Holy, there's a lot of different options here. Say the sole survivor went and found some pallets just lying around in the middle of the wasteland. You gotta go through a lot of stuff here. <laughs> also, another thing we need to buy it, build, buy. We need to build as a barn for the Brahmin. So, <laughs> I think that's another thing we gotta think about building. Now, where's the pop out wall pieces for this? I'm gonna be slightly annoyed if it's not in here, which doesn't look like it is. Maybe it's in this one. Well, that one's got, uh... Yeah, I like that. Definitely have to use that because Sanctuary Hills has a notorious graffiti artist in its mitts. And the Soul Survivor still doesn't know who he, who he is or what, what his motives are. 
This would be kind of like a little storage area where they can put the utensils or the implements for the gardens, utensils, implements. put some moldy wood on here too. Be like an implement shed even though there's the the massive greenhouse. I think an implement shed's a good idea. That's why I like the Kiro tab. It is available on Xbox for download if anybody's interested. I'll put some wood stairs here. God, the snapping is being weird. Really? Will these snap to it like no? Yeah, I guess we'll just use those. Even though they're partially inserted into the world. the first time the sun was out when I was building. It'd just be like a little garden shed even though they have the greenhouse but the lady who's in charge of the garden said she doesn't really want everybody piling junk in the greenhouse so apparently she made a couple formal complaints to Nate and uh Nate said for further notice let's not store anything in the greenhouse because it may not be a good idea. Oh yeah, see I like the look of that. It's like it's like junky and rough looking and the palette's kind of add a different look to it. Like this just looks really good. This looks better than it was before and we're not even going to add a gate. All right, Marcy, get to work. Need food. Plus, realistically, if you were like, say, you were cleaning the fruits or cleaning the crops in here, like the corn and the potatoes and carrots and other things like that which we're gonna get more of when we eventually venture back out into the wasteland you wouldn't really want them um, doing it in the greenhouse because it'd be extraordinarily hot in there Preston's still stuck there we're gonna scrap those because we don't really need those but we do need to build a barn I was thinking that could be the next thing we can build. I'll put that there. Nothing like some low a some low hanging wires to hit your head on and get electrocuted. <laughs> I always, always think about that when I see low hanging wires in the wasteland, just thinking some some somebody somewhere would probably try and touch that. And I wanna kinda lay floorboards throughout kinda like with Kind of similar to what uh, Diamond City has. Busted one on here. Good Diamond City has that too. They have like random floorboards lying around. 
kind of put them a little crooked, kind of leading into the garden area because this is going to be a massive garden. like some boards to the greenhouse. Because the windows were broken on it. Put like a little table in here or something, a little junk table. Put a couple of those tables in here. creative clutter. I kind of want to clutter this up now because if I don't I'll forget. Luckily we got a whole tab for just outdoor. That's where something like this can go into here. Even though a garden house is kind of unrealistic for the settlement. But we'll hang it up in here. Yo, a scarecrow! I mean, you would probably want one because crows seem to be pretty active still. Put a sprout box in here. We could say this is the area in which they
Let's just say the lady in charge of the... Or the person in charge of the gardens a bit of a control freak, so... Marcy just doesn't care. Marcy doesn't listen to her, but you know, it's Marcy. from 76. Same with these. Those don't really fit the lore of Fallout 4 as much as they do 76. Now if you're wondering the likelihood of me playing 76 will be very low. I'm not a big fan of 76. I don't know. little table here with more implements. You kind of want a lot of space to work on stuff in your garden. a little tool shelf to the garden area. Everywhere's gonna have at least a couple tool shelves. You know, plus they work next to the generator, so Sturges was the one who actually told everybody they should have a tool shelf. Because he says you never know when you might need one. You know, nobody questions Sturges, man. Come on, Sturges is a very loved character. But there you got like a little tool shelf or if something goes wrong with the generator or the water pump, Sturges can come up here and fix it and make it look pretty. Well, at least we finally have some food for the people. People of the wasteland. I just gotta find June. I'm gonna say you better not be in Sturge's house. Oh yeah, there's one thing I was gonna add to Sturge's house. It's something that I always get Sturge's to do. Because he's good for it. Is a scavenging station. Because it just seems like a total Sturgis thing to have. And I don't know where June Long is. But it was held up somewhere. 
but this is the start of our garden. Other than that, all I can really do is add maybe like a couple more extra things for food. Oh, we got corn! We just need mute fruit and carrots. But since we haven't gone anywhere besides Sanctuary... You know, this is what I hate about the gourds. The gourds are like the hardest things to place. Seems like they're just so picky on where they want to be. That's why I usually don't put them in the greenhouse. We will put the gourds here. Put a couple things of melon. Get to work, Marcy. You got a lot of work ahead of you. I mean, with the. Uh, it seems like she has slight anger issues. There you are, June. Do I got a job opportunity for you? It doesn't pay. Well, it does pay, but it pays for the happiness of the settlers. Running a farm. There, you can start producing corn. We'll get out our foods at 10 now. Because I kept getting comments about people getting upset about the settlers not having any food. But I like this. This is nice. But we do got to build a barn. And I was either thinking of building the barn here. Like building it right here. But then we're blocking out the greenhouse windows, which kind of doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But then again, we can. Because realistically, you want to get sunlight from the sky. So I think we'll just build the barn here. And there's going to be no actual floor for this barn because of sanctuary sloped. Sanctuary is very sloped hill here. Letting doing the barn. Kind of like that is a lot better than nothing. It's just a barn to protect the Brahmin. Just gotta do that just so we can place the walls. Use the busted wall pieces. Just because they kind of fit in with the aesthetic. That's a big barn, holy crap! I'm not expecting it to be that big. May have to actually change this up. put the stairwell somewhere else just so we can build the corral.
of the Brahmin. It's not going to be a big corral, but it has to be a decent corral. Again, throw a couple of good roof pieces in here. I prefer that. That looks a lot better. I don't want it connected to that building. I kind of want it to all be separate. we're gonna add a floor to it no floor since kind of like the most pointless thing to add to it still kind of functions I just don't want it to look perfect that's what we're kind of shooting for here not so perfect See how it's kind of sunk into the ground there. I just kind of like that look because it gives it like a not so perfect, just kind of that junky. Vibe. Because we know essentially. So put one of those there. It just gives the barn that nice junky look that we're looking for. Now we can add a conduit to the barn. Because Nate told the lady who owns, who's in charge of the garden, that the barn needs power. And you can't hog all the power. She didn't like that, but she had to accept the terms that that's just how it is. You know, Nate's not trying to be a dink. He's just trying to tell people that this is just how it is. Thank you. 
Although this is a bit much for a settlement in Fallout. <laughs> if, you, if you really think about it, a full size barn. But I mean, if the settlers were able to build up stuff like these structures and these homes and these towers and a barn would literally be nothing for them to build. Now we're going to try and uh, finagle a little corral to go around the barn. So we're going to go back to Kiro Tab. And we're going to use some stuff from Kiro Tab to build a little corral. Because we all know there's going to be one seller one day that's going to show up with a Brahmin. And then we're going to have to figure out how the, what we need to do with it. I'm gonna put a sanctuary door on there, but covered in graffiti. Just cause it makes sense. Oh, look at these doors. Cathedral doors. A patriotic cathedral door. the covered bridges. I forgot how much weird stuff Kiro Tab has. Pretty cool. What the heck? You know, that's one thing I don't understand why is it? What the heck is this? A oh, tow truck. I just got some ideas for this stuff. Yo, this one's cool. It's a wasteland yurt. The only thing I find with Kiro Tab is it really wreaks havoc on your frame rate, especially on Xbox. Pretty sure there's going to be some people in the comment be like, Oh, I've never had an issue with it. I have had issues with it. Not game breaking issues, but issues nonetheless. Oh yeah, I was also going to say the Fallout series is coming out here pretty quick. We're getting ever so closer to the Fallout series. I wonder if anybody's excited. I 
if they're excited or they're just questionable about it. Let me know down in the comments. Are you going to watch the Fallout series? I'm going to. Definitely got to put down some a gate. But knowing my like the Brahmin are never going to stay in here. It doesn't even need to be perfect. There we go. Got a little Brahmin pen. As long as you don't mind the smell of Brahmin caca. I think that's what uh, Aradesh and Sandy Shore says. Brahmin caca. <laughs> Doesn't smell great this year. I mean, whenever would Brahmin crap smell good? But uh, if you ever watched or ever played Fallout 1, every dish makes a complaint about the smell of Brahmin. Which I mean, they wouldn't smell great. You wouldn't be going up to them and expecting the Brahmin to smell like flowers. They'd smell very horrendous, I think. We're gonna put the feed trough outside. We're gonna put it in this low spot so when you're going to feed the Brahmin, you can just go through here. You don't actually have to go in the pen. Didn't even plan that out. <laughs> See, this is how I build settlements. I just figure things out as I go along, see what sticks, and then that works. But I think that's all for this video. I did have a lot of fun with this one, so. And I definitely appreciate the followers on watching me play Fallout and also appreciate some of the feedback for Starfield. It's very much appreciated. But other than that, let me know what you thought of this video and also if you're finally happy with me feeding feeding uh, the people the sanctuary now. So, again, thanks for watching. If you are new to my channel and you're not obligated to, but I'd really appreciate if you liked and subscribed and hit that little bell notification that you see on the side. But you're not obligated to, so that's totally up to you. Other than that, again, I really appreciate the views and I really appreciate the subscribers. I don't know if you know think I don't know if you know how much it means to me to be over 200 subscribers going from 0 to 200 within a month. That is so awesome. So again, I really appreciate that. But other than that, that's all. And uh, there'll definitely be more videos to come later. Bye now.